Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do the one here uncut, no form of editing. People, it's Jaboobs and I'm back. Today I will not be talking about anything controversial or anything funny. I'm actually in mourning. I've lost a friend and my friends, they've lost a friend. He goes by the name of Akeen Daly. He's a UTech student who lost his life in Indiana in the United States of this year on the 6th of June 2012. He was participating in the J1 Cultural Exchange Summer Program. And when this video is finished, people, I would really appreciate it if you guys would share it, comment on it, like it, or subscribe to this channel for more info. What puzzles me is that Akeen is not known as a streamer here in Jamaica. So why would you leave your country and go to a next country and engage in an activity that you know you have difficulties doing? I still don't get it. But nevertheless, I'm sending my condolences to the Daly family. I know you guys are in mourning and it's hard because you ju you've just lost your family member. And just pray and stick together and you guys will make it through. Today, I'll be talking to those J1 students. Those students who are currently participating in the cultural exchange program. Firstly, I'll address those students who have never visited the United States before. If you know that you are just visiting the United States for the very first time, do not go there and do something that you don't normally do while you're here in Jamaica. Do you understand? Because you have to remember that different rules and regulations apply to different countries. And you have to also remember that their geographical areas are completely different from ours here. You get me? They have different masses of water in terms of man-made lakes in comparison with natural lakes and beaches. And for those students who cannot swim, please do not go swimming without the necessary safety equipment or following the necessary safety protocols or procedures as it pertains to life jacket informing relevant persons such as lifeguards when you're going swimming or informing friends who can actually swim and stuff like that. Don't go swimming with no one who cannot swim. That doesn't make any sense. Do you understand me? For those students who are just particip who are who have visited the United States before, Please remember that you guys have experience already. You need to encourage, motivate, and instruct these new students on how to act, when to act, and when not to act, or when to do certain things and when not to do them. They are looking up to you guys because you guys have been in it before. Do you understand? Um, as, it, as it pertains to actions, you guys must remember that your actions impact on the different organizations or departments that are involved in this program. For example, look at the sponsor. If you check your medical card or your medical insurance, you'll realize how much it costs to send your body back home if you die, and how much it costs to make funeral arrangements and stuff like that. It doesn't make any sense. Think before you act, people. Think. This impacts on the embassy, it impacts on the programs, and it impacts on your families here. Believe it or not, we don't know, I don't know, but you might see it next year that the embassy will now, or the United States government will now implement more strict rules and regulations as it applies to this program and engage in or participate in this program next year. You have to remember that your families, they are looking forward to you guys coming back home. Just the way they had sent you there at first. The way how Okin is going to be returning home is not how his family wanted him to come back home. So please guys, think. Just be safe, enjoy your summer, and do what you were sent there to do. Participate in a cultural exchange program. Do not follow peer pressure, or don't make anyone invent to say that go swim or this or that. You understand? Don't do it. And if there's a need for you to do something new that you've never done before, think people, think. Whether it be water sports, other sporting activities, operating machinery, anything it is that you don't normally do. Wear the necessary safety gears or follow the necessary protocols. Please. Shock, babes, I know you feel. And to my friends there, I know you guys were not there on the scene at the exact time when it happened. I'm truly sorry and I know you, how you guys feel because you guys were very close to him. Um, persons, as I said, my friends who knows me. 
persons who don't know me just continue to be safe and think before you act please because your action impacts on everyone mm -hmm. all right this is jabooks as i'm saying i send my condolences i'm truly sorry people bye